in my this tutorial we'll know how we can configure xm so in x a m p p x stand for cross platform so this application is work on mac os linux and windows that's why it's called x a a for apache m for mysql p for php and p for perl so in our case we require to download xmp for windows i'll just click here to get other version details here we can see the customized installation for your 32 bit operating system that include 5.5.19 and 5.6.3 the currently stable version is 5.6.3 which include you can see what it include apache 2.4.10 MySQL 5.6.21, PHP 5.6.3, MyPHP Admin 4.2.11, OpenSSL, XMP Control Panel, Web Analyzer, Mercury Mail, Transport System, FTP Server, FileZilla, Tomcat Server, and Strawberry Perl Portable Edition. So it has more than the normal server what we require here we can click here to download as per our requirement and if you want to learn more in depth so you can download the add-ons for it for example if you want to create the see, Drupal website or if you want to create WordPress website so you can directly download by default add-on that will provide you the customized installer that has the exam server WordPress module inbuilt it but in my future tutorial i will show you how you can configure wordpress drupal on your current wmp or lamp web server so for us it's better to go and download and for me i always prefer basic php version from sourceforge here we can go on files XMP for Windows. You can click and download the latest installer, but for me, I just required the zip file. So in 5.6.3, I'll just go and download XAMWP portable for Win32 as a 7 zip format. I have already downloaded this, so we'll see how we can install it. So let's go to our download. Here you can see I have downloaded XMP portable version and XMP installer. If you run XMP installer, it will install virtual C11 redistributor for your system. And here you can see you need to provide UAC user access control for them and the same installer how you use to install WMP server so I'm just going to cancel the setup here and we are going to install portable version all we just need to open the 7-zip file go to our root directory and copy and paste the XMP folder it's done so now we can close the 7 zip and in our exam folder we can see we have the option called XMP control panel you just create the shortcut on desktop if you want to I'll just I always prefer to pin it in a start menu or taskbar let's pin in start menu so here it is 
when we first time initialize it will ask us to select the language English save here our exe of the control panel is ready before we start the services I always prefer to do some customization configuration for example in config we can see the default text editor I always prefer to use text editor atom so I'll copy the part click here paste open save and for Apache if you want to host a server services for example I'll start the Apache server grant the right and now if we go to localhost here you can see XMP it's up and running yes we require to do tweakings to related the security because you can't access the XMP server from another machine even in your local environment that will be covered in our future tutorial for web hosting purpose I always prefer to use the custom folders so that can be configured using config Apache conf file which will open the default text editor where you can search document root you can see the default folder path is here let's comment it out Now we will create the directory I always use custom path done save and close it stop and start the services now if we open the local host here you can see there is no page because we don't created any folder so here we can post multiple folders project for testing project 1 project 2 this is not a best practice but it's good if you want to test multiple projects on your local system so now here I'll go to create a PHP file document info.php save echo PHP info refresh the web page here it's working and even if you have another project so you can switch the project 
create new file save it and now yeah that's how you can customize folder directory as well as host multiple projects on location in my future tutorial i'm going to cover how we can customize xamp and get more and more out of it so please subscribe and thank you